Well, more than 208,000 Americans under the age of 20 in the United States have been diagnosed with diabetes. And that can be a scary thing if your child is diagnosed, but knowledge breeds power to control it. And that's where Dr. Lewis first picks up our story with this First With Kids report. Parents have been hearing and reading so much about diabetes in the news, they've been asking me to separate the fact from the fiction about this disease. So let me sugar out some information on the topic of diabetes. Diabetes represents an elevation of sugar in your blood. This happens because you don't make a type of substance called insulin that pulls sugar from the blood into the cells of your body. We call that type 1 diabetes. Or the cells of your body are resistant to the insulin you're making, in which case, again, sugar stays elevated in your blood. We call that type 2 diabetes. How do you know if your child has diabetes? Well, before we diagnose it with elevated blood sugar, your child may have increased thirst, increased urination. They may start to lose weight. They may have some nausea, vomiting, even loss of consciousness. Now those are the facts about diabetes, but what are some of the myths? Well, some parents believe that if a child eats candy or sweets or sugar, they're going to get diabetes. Well, candy or sweets eaten in moderation has nothing to do with causing diabetes. If you eat excessive amounts of sugar, well, then you're going to put on weight. And increased weight is associated with an increased risk for insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes, but not by eating candy or sweets in moderation. Some parents believe that if their child has diabetes, they can't have sweets at all. Well, that's not true either. As long as you know the amount of carbohydrates, which includes the sweets your child is eating, you can adjust insulin and medications appropriately. And yes, your child with diabetes can have a candy bar. And then there are parents who believe that diabetes is only temporary in their child and will go away. Well, sadly, that's not true either. But what is true is if you understand diabetes and your child understands diabetes, manages their carbohydrate intake, adjusts the insulin appropriately, while your child with diabetes can have as healthy a life as a child who doesn't have diabetes and do everything that child can do. So that hopefully tips like this will sweeten up what you need to know when it comes to separating the myths from the realities and gaining a better understanding of diabetes. This is pediatrician Dr. Lewis First from the University of Vermont Children's Hospital reminding you to always be first with your kids.